Wake, for the sun, who scattered into flight the stars before him from the field of night, drives night along with them from heaven, and strikes the sultan's turret with a shaft of light. Before the phantom of false morning died, methought a voice within the tavern cried, When all the temple is prepared within, why nods the drowsy worshipper outside? And as the cock crew, those who stood before the tavern shouted, Open then the door, you know how little while we have to stay, and once departed may return no more. Think, in this battered caravanserai, whose portals are alternate night and day, how sultan after sultan with his pomp abode his destined hour and went his way. Ah, my beloved, fill the cup that clears to-day of past regrets and future fears. Tomorrow, why, tomorrow I may be myself with yesterday's seven thousand years. Ah, make the most of what we yet may spend, before we too into the dust descend, dust unto dust, and under dust to lie, sans wine, sans song, sans singer, and sans end. Myself, when young, did eagerly frequent doctor and saint, and heard great argument about it and about, but evermore came out by the same door wherein I went. With them the seed of wisdom did I sow, and with mine own hand wrought to make it grow, and this was all the harvest that I reaped. I came like water, and like wind I go. There was the door to which I found no key, there was the veil through which I might not see. Some little talk a while of me and thee there was, and then no more of thee and me. Ah, but my computations, people say, reduce the year to better reckoning. Nay, twas only striking from the calendar, unborn to-morrow and dead yesterday. And lately by the tavern door agape came shining through the dusk an angel's shape, bearing a vessel on his shoulder, and he bid me taste of it, and twas the grape. The grape that can with logic absolute the two and seventy jarring sects confute, the sovereign alchemist that in a trice life's leaden metal into gold transmute. We are no other than a moving row of magic shadow shapes that come and go, round with the sun-illumined lantern held in midnight by the master of the show. The ball no question makes of eyes and nose, but here or there, as strikes the player, goes. And he that tossed you down into the field, he knows about it all, he knows, he knows. The moving finger writes, and having writ moves on, nor all your piety nor wit shall lure it back to cancel half a line, nor all your tears wash out a word of it. And that inverted bowl they call the sky, where under crawling cooped we live and die, lift not your hands to it for help, for it as impotently moves as you or I. Yesterday this day's madness did prepare, tomorrow's silence, triumph, or despair. Drink, for you know not whence you came, nor why. Drink, for you know not why you go, nor where. O oh, thou who man of baser earth didst make, And even with paradise devise the snake, For all the sin wherewith the face of man is blackened, Man's forgiveness give, and take. As under cover of departing day Slunk hunger-stricken Ramazan away, Once more within the potter's house alone I stood, Surrounded by the shapes of clay. Shapes of all sorts and sizes, great and small, That stood along the floor and by the wall, And some loquacious vettles were, And some listened perhaps, but never talked at all. Said one among them, Surely not in vain My substance of the common earth was ta'en, And to this figure moulded, To be broke or trampled back to shapeless earth again? Then said a second, Ne'er a peevish boy would break the bowl from which he drank in joy, 
and he that with his hand the vessel made will surely not in after wrath destroy. After a momentary silence spake some vessel of a more ungainly make, they sneer at me for leaning all awry. What, did the hand then of the potter shake? Ah, with the grape my fading life provide, and wash the body whence the life has died, and lay me shrouded in the living leaf by not some unfrequented garden side. As much as wine has played the infidel and robbed me of my robe of honour, well, I wonder often what the vintners buy, one half so precious as the stuff they sell. Ah, love, could you and I with him conspire to grasp this sorry scheme of things entire? Would not we shatter it to bits and then remould it nearer to the heart's desire? And when, like her, O Saki, you shall pass among the guests' stars scattered on the grass, and in your joyous errand reach the spot where I made one, turn down an empty glass.